Hi there, and welcome to another Mono Motley, and this one is called Burn Baby Burn, and features Shannon in the legendary tier Schleepen. Uh, as you can see, Shannon has spawned to the southeast of the A cap, alongside two cruisers, Petra Pavlovsk and an Alaska. Keep an eye on that Alaska. Um, he does do a bit of a magical mystery tour throughout the battle. As you can see, both teams have two destroyers. And you could argue that uh, Shannon and the two cruisers have, have got the poor spawn on the A-cap. They're funneled into two channels and it's very easy for the red team who are coming from the open side of A-cap to, uh, to target torch down those channels. The Shannon and the Petro start to push in. And it looks initially as if the Alaska is turning out to go into a more defensive position to also defend the ACAP. Uh, but as you'll see, that doesn't happen. Meanwhile, over on the B cap, the uh, battleship that spawned there looks like he's starting to migrate down to the A cap. Meanwhile, Shannon and the Petro are spotted. There's a Yamato out there. And some something's in the A cap, turning it for the red team. So it looks like they've picked up a destroyer, a red team destroyer on this cap. Meanwhile, blue team are pushing in to capture both the B and the C caps. And there is a gearing. The gearing's obviously launched torps. Shannon gets shots on. Takes a big chunk. As I said before, battleships can shoot destroyers. And even with AP, he's very effective fire. And his secretaries are starting to target the gearing as well. And there he goes, he gets close quarters expert and first blood. Now the Petro picked up one of the gearing's torpedoes and Shannon's trying to turn in, but he does catch it. That's one intel. We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. But the Yamato is now starting to push into the A cap. Shannon gets shots on. And looks like the Red Team now lost both their destroyers. So that does put them at a, a disadvantage. And Shannon's secretaries start to light up the Yamato. So basically, while they're Blue team colleagues are taking caps. Shannon and the Petro have got to try and hold this cap to prevent the red team from cap from taking it. You'll notice also that now he's got over 30,000 hit points that Shannon's epic secondary reload mod has kicked in. Tanner has come to join the party. Shannon gets a good hit on that Montana. Super door. And rear turrets engage the Yamato. And of course his secondaries continue to engage the Yamato. Montana is just slightly out of range for secondaries at the moment. And a few of the grocers come to join the party. 
So I've now got three of the four red team battleships are fighting for ACAP. Yamato is starting to suffer, he's on quite low health now. I'm not surprised, he looks like he's had over 200 secondary hits from uh, Shannon alone. More has been out on that broadside from Tana. You'll notice there's a, a blue battleship. That's the one that spawned on the Bravo Cap is now pushed in behind Shannon. Yeah, the Pecto Askins for support. Meanwhile, the Yamato is pushed to their uh, Shannon's right because he's on very low health and wants to get out of direct, direct line of sight so he can't be engaged. They now start to target the, the FDG. And here comes the blue team Montana, who decides to muscle in. Okay, Shannon has uh, started his hydro just in case that map is sent out torpedoes. His epic reload, secondary reload is up to level four. And the Montana just sails in. Shannon's got now got a witherer as well. Okay, Montana gets an easy kill on the Yamato who is virtually dead anyway. He continues to push it. I don't really know what he thought he was doing here. Shannon meanwhile picked up a high calibre. I mean, I've heard of YOLO, but that's, uh, that's something else. Meanwhile, Shannon's now tied to Montana. There's more to yes. There's the Napoli Torch. out on that Friedrich the Grosser. Yeah, and the uh, blue team Montana finally uh, gets taken care of. I'm afraid that was all too inevitable, really. Meanwhile, the Friedrich the Grosser is aggressively pushing on to Shannon. The ship is on fire. Shannon starts to manoeuvre so he can open up his uh, torpedo angles. One set of the right hand breaks off. And a cheeky shot on the Napoli the broadside. FDG picks up one talk. Meanwhile, Shannon's second vision. Scores well over 600 hits by now. They are relentless. Epic secondary reload is now up to max level. Shannon's manoeuvre to open up his uh, port side talk. FTG is so close he can't really manoeuvre out the way. Bang, there he goes. Meanwhile, I don't know if you've been tracking him, the Alaska is now up on Charlie Cap. So he really has done a, a magical mystery tour. Fire on the Tops out on the Montana. And shots on the Montana. All the while, his secondaries just keep going. And his starboard side secondaries are also now engaging the cruiser that's off to the northeast of the ACAP, where that's been taken out by the daring. 
There was just this red team Montana left who is burning down by the looks of things. And yeah, the talk takes care of it. Good game, Shannon. So that's a Witherer, First Blood, Close Quarters Export, Expert, Arsonist, Dreadnought, and High Calibre. Three kills. Honourable mention to the Petro who stayed with him. Yeah, good game, Shannon. I hope you enjoyed that, and there will be another Mono Muttley along fairly soon. <laughs>